कंप्लीट ट्रेनिंग स्टेप बाई स्टेप फाइव एग्जाम्पल वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस टू टॉपिक्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो नाउ वी आर डिस्कसिंग थर्ड टॉपिक हाउ टू एडिट एट ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस एंड वी विल एडिट द ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ टू डाटा वन विल बी विद द डाटा सोर्स ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट एंड सेकेंड विल बी विदाउट डाटा सोर्स ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट so here you can see we have and we already discussed in previous video how to create a drop down list without data source so you can watch a link in the description as well uh, with the with the different options it has so you can apply all the option according to your requirement so now we are discussing how to edit a drop down list and we will discuss many option of it so it is a complete tutorial Before starting the video I want you to comment your country name as I want to know where are you from and tell me in comment what kind of project you want to solve yes definitely I will reply you and help you in your project don't forget to subscribe it's free if you want me to solve your complete project visit mjonlinehometutor.com this is not the drop down list this is the filter and here you can see the drop down list and uh, this is example of create a drop down list without sorry with data data source and uh, the uh, the second example is how to add a drop down list in excel here you can see we have data but it's not from the source uh, we have it manually and here the additional countries uh, if not available data will not be uh, appear in the result and here is the third example i did a drop down list in which we will edit a existing drop down list with the help of two example you will learn both examples are very useful uh, and we will discuss in this tutorial uh, training session and the fourth example how to create a drop down list in google sheet uh, this is a, there are the different method on the google sheet uh, from the excel you have to learn and you have to understand uh, because it is very basic thing uh, to understand of excel the, the uh, fourth example is very important and the fifth example we will add the uh, drop down list by adding a the data manually without data source Let's discuss how to edit a drop down list with two example here we have some additional names so we will replace it with the addition uh, current name so here once we change the uh, drop down list uh, selection so we get the result and i'm going to add a number but it's not appearing in the list so we need to change the drop down list so we can add it uh, now i'm going to add some random names as well and uh, the numbers as well uh, just for random numbers 87 78 and now i have to add it a drop down list so we need to add data here we can change it as 13 in the address or we can change uh, by the selection so once we select it so it will be appear in the drop down list so how here how we change the that uh, drop down list you can see here are some more options uh, the v lookup formula we also need if you want to learn about v lookup formula so you can watch complete training of v lookup link link in the description so you can understand this is very important uh, very useful formula and everyone uh, is make our life very easy the v lookup formula is very important for everyone so here you can see once we change the number Uh, sorry once we change the name so we got the result uh, so and if we change the number if we change the number for of the list so it will be appear in the uh, the drop down menu so i have changed two numbers uh, here you can see is available in the list and it's giving us the result accordingly and we have already added two uh, number as well so that's also available in our list this is the data source option uh, this is a data for source uh, example and now we are discussing without data source here we add the data manually in the uh, drop down menu so we will add four country names and uh, here you can see we are adding spain as well Finland and we will let's give some rank to them like six and seven and uh, then give some also the currency value the worth of the country let's say dollar five point five trillion and uh, dollar uh, let's say dollar five point one or something. Anything you want, trillion. 
so we have uh, we add two names and uh, here you can see we need to change it by ourselves because it will not be changed uh, by the uh, changing of uh, the name or in the data because it's uh, not a data source uh, now have we, I am going to change the VLOOKA formula as well uh, so you will get the result properly the France was in the list previously because uh, uh, but in, not in the data so I got the result for the France now I am going to add the uh, country name which are not in the uh, list so then it will be in the list so before Germany I can add some country names by writing then comma and then another country name here you can see the two country names are uh, together because we haven't put the comma here so we need to put the comma here and it's done so this is another way to add it a drop down list I hope you like this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel if you want to learn more about it so i really recommend you to watch uh, below videos i have given the links in the description as well here you can see the we look at formula is very important it's give you a very uh, important things in the results and you can change as per your requirement and you can apply the formula as per your requirement watch complete training how to create and edit drop down list and if you want to learn about vlookup so watch complete training of vlookup links are here don't forget to subscribe and like this video